Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a first impression on a new foundation. All new to me because I just got it. And it is the True Blend Liquid Base Liquid Makeup. True Blend Liquid Makeup. I'm sorry, I don't know. And it is by CoverGirl. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and apply it and then I'll update you guys throughout the day and see what I think about it. Um, and if I'm not able to update you throughout the day, then I'll just come back um, tonight and tell you guys what I think about it. So let's get started. I'm not sure how I'm going to apply this, if I'm going to do it with a sponge or a brush. So we'll see. I'm going to squirt some out now. And the only thing I have on is a moisturizer, and I used my Clinique Dramatically Different Lotion. I don't have any primer or anything because I really want to see how this foundation holds up on its own. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply it with a sponge. and Because it's kind of a thick consistency. smells really um, clean. It doesn't smell like foundation. It just has like um, a clean smell. So that's, that's good, I guess. It doesn't set super fast, so you can go in and keep on blending because it doesn't set like other foundations. That sets super fast. And I would say the coverage is around medium coverage. So, yeah. It's definitely not completely full coverage but it's enough coverage for me all right so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and tell you guys what I think so far of the time okay, so I'm back I went ahead and finished all of my makeup and I'm gonna Go ahead and just tell you guys what I put on. So I bronzed up my face and I put some um, Refined Golds in by MAC. I really like this bronzer. It's one of my favorite. Um, and then for concealer, I put a little bit of solid cover up under my eyes because I have a lot of freckles there. So I need to put some concealer. And then I also put on some blush and I put Warm Soul by MAC and it does have some sparkle in it but it's very discreet is that a word okay whatever um so anyways um I took product really well um I really liked how I applied my bronzer um you know some foundations can be really thick and bronzer and stuff can be really hard to apply but not this foundation. It went on really nice. I really liked it. Um, I can totally see doing this in my face, which is crazy because I have dry skin. So if I see oil, like, not oil, but like doing this or like light reflecting from my face, it's like heaven. It's amazing. I love that. It This foundation reminds me of um, the Lumi foundation by L'Oreal. It kind of reflects the same like light and dewiness but it's not like oily like other foundations can be so it does look very very natural 
um, it has around medium coverage. It's not a light coverage. It's definitely medium, and I think if you apply a second layer, you can probably build it up to full coverage for sure. Um, it's a little thicker than I thought it would be. I thought it would be really runny, but it's actually not. Um, it's a little thicker, but not in a bad way. It's very easy to blend. Some thick foundations are very hard to blend, but this one was super, super easy. You guys saw it. I did it with a little sponge that I have, and I just like applied it all over my face, and it blended amazingly. Super easy. Um, there, I believe there's 21 colors shades available. Um, it ranges from three um, categories, from light, medium, and deep. So, um, there's a lot of variety of shades and I'm pretty sure it would be really easy for anybody to find their color. So that's awesome. Um, so yeah, I will continue wearing it and then tell you guys what I think about it in the end of the day. So, at the end of the day. And yeah, so I'll see you guys then. Hi everyone, so I am back and I um, used this foundation all day long today. Um, I am wearing another outfit just because I did change throughout the day, but I didn't retouch my makeup, I didn't put powder or any kind of setting um, product on my face. Um, I'm only wearing the foundation, blush, and um, bronzer. So, yeah, um, my overall thoughts on it is I really, really like it. Um, I think if you are a um, oily combination skin, this product might not be for you because I can definitely see the dewiness in my face and remember I have dry skin. So for me to see some dewiness and light reflecting from my skin, it's kind of crazy and I mean, I like it. Um, I think the stain powder was really great. Um, I didn't show you guys what time it was when I first applied, but I think it was around 10.30 to 11 o'clock, and it's 9.30 right now, so almost 10 hours or, like, around there, and um, it looks the same. I just look a tad bit um, shiny in some places, like right here and here and here, but it's not oily it's just dewiness and like I said I like that I prefer that I'd rather have that than my oily pat I mean my dry patchy skin so for me it's great um I think if you have oily skin you would most definitely have to have a uh, setting powder I don't think you could be able to live leave the house without setting your makeup first um now this one it ranges for around eight to nine dollars I think I'll put the exact price down below. Um, it has one fluid ounce and out of five stars I think I would give it a 4.5 and it would get five stars but I don't think it has as much cover as other foundations have from the drugstore. I think it is medium coverage. You could build it up but you know it's always fun to come across that really full coverage foundation so I do give it a 4.5. I love it. I think the selection they have is amazing. You can find your exact shade and I think it's great. Um, this shade matched me perfectly and I loved it. Um, so yeah, overall I do give it a 4.5 and I definitely think you guys should check this foundation out. Really awesome. It wore all day long and I think it could go for about two more hours and still look great. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression video from me and I'll see you guys later.